What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam and today I have another seed haul for you. So I had ordered from Fruition Seeds a little while back, but since then they had put up their new for 2021 seed offerings and I had this great idea, if you've seen the other seed hauls you know, uh, that I was going to use uh, supporting small seed companies as an excuse to try a whole bunch of them. This will be my second gardening season growing fruition seed, actually my third. This will be my third gardening season growing with fruition seeds. So I'm not new to this company, but I do love, love, love their seeds. I love Petra, their founder. She is one of those people that if you didn't know her for some period of time, you might think that she is not genuinely like that. I assure you, she is genuinely a beam of light, a literal beam of light. For example, these were lost in the mail for quite some time and when they showed up and I let her know, she said that she would sleep better at night knowing that I had my seeds and from anyone else, that would have sounded sarcastic, but from her, she means it. Or she's very good at hiding sarcasm. I don't know which one, but I, I'm pretty sure it's the former. <laughs> so as with all my seed hauls, there will be tomatoes. I basically bought um, most of the stuff that is new for the year. So I'm that person. First up, we have the beautiful cherry ember tomato look at that this is a new variety from cornell it says it is deliciously crack resistant and each red cherry is brushed with blonde brushed with bronze blades born on handsome trusses indeterminate and then next up, this was a very interesting looking tomato. And I grabbed it because it is supposed to be really long storing and um, really delicious. So this is the Pianolo del Vesuvio. Pianolo del Vesuvio. I'm sorry, I apologize. It says it is an heirloom that is delectably early and beloved as quote, the hanging tomato of Vesuvius. They have a low water content and fairly thick skin and is traditionally hung indoors to extend the season. So that is very, very um, appealing to me because I do like the idea of dragging my harvest out as long as possible. I was actually eating out of my garden until almost Christmas this year, which is crazy. And I could probably still get some kale out of my garden right now. So technically I could still be eating out of my garden. This one does not have the photo, so I will put it on the screen for you. Um, it's so brand spanky new that they don't even have a seed packet for it. This is the organic collage striped pepper between the lines, sweet pepper. Supposed to be very sweet and very gorgeous in both foliage, flower, and fruit. Wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna butcher how to say this too. And someone actually spelled this out phonetically for me the last time and I apologize because I don't remember what you wrote. Um, this is the Zucchetta tromboncino? Tromboncino? I don't know. There you go. But here it is. So these are just these really cool curly squash. And I'm gonna give this a whack. Now I, for, unfortunately, have a really bad squash bug problem and we do have vine borers. We have basically everything that makes growing squash utterly impossible without using like pesticides and things like that. Um, so I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off this year trying to grow some squash. Um, I did manage to get a few out of my garden last year, so it's not impossible, but Petra does a lot of Instagram lives and talks about when you have squash bugs and vine borers that you should basically just not grow squash for like five years and then try again. Now, the thing is when I moved here, the very first year I moved here, I did try to grow some squash in the yard and that was about five years ago. Um, and I got them then too. So I think that unfortunately so many people around me grow little veggie gardens that I'm never gonna be able to get rid of them. So I'm just gonna have to try and stay on top of it somehow. I don't, I don't know how. If you have any luck, let me know what you do, but I know that when it comes to um, unmovable pests, that is definitely one of them. So next up in my ongoing mission to have a robust medicinal herb and flower garden, I have the Calendula resina, resina, I think it's resina. 
And this is a calendula that is extra sticky and has extra of that um, awesome resin that people use to make um, all kinds of creams and things to put on topically. I am looking forward to checking these out. Now, the only thing that sucks about calendula is they attract aphids like crazy. And I just have no idea how I am going to make sure I don't put aphids in my jars of like calendula oil that I plan to make. How do people do that? Or do you just pretend that there aren't any in there? Someone let me know. Next up, we have, this one was wacky. I had to get this. This is the dragon's egg cucumber. I mean, I had to try that one out. Look at it. I mean, I feel like the Khaleesi with all my dragon's eggs. So this says it is prolific, unusual, and an heirloom. And you're supposed to harvest this one young so that it still has a sweet flavor and small seeds. I did have not done well with cucumbers. For some reason, I feel like that is something that people grow all the time and they can't give them away fast enough. And I have had miserable luck with them so far. So here's hoping uh, next year I will figure it out. <laughs> and we have a Benary's giant white zinnia here. I had basically no white flowers in my flower seeds. Um, at all. So when you want to be doing cut bouquets and everything, you want to at least have, you know, some whites and creams to mix in there somewhere. So this one seems like a nice addition to my flower bed. Not huge on white flowers, but um, those looked, those look nice. Also going into the cut flower garden, this is going to be a similar um, effect as my Love Lies Bleeding Amaranth that I got. Um, this is your fun little spiky spilly things to put in bouquets. This is Limelight Spray Millet. This is also edible and you can use this fresh or dry in bouquets. So that's a very exciting to me. Even though I hit the snag in my cut flower plan that when you bring cut flowers straight from your garden, your organic garden um, into your house, you are also bringing usually aphids into your house. And um, that's not good when you have as many house plants as I do. So. I have instead started putting bouquets of flowers out in the hallway. Like as you walk into the house, there's like a nice bouquet and that's making my heart happy. And I also plan to fasten some uh, containers to my fence that I can leave water in and just stick a few bouquets for people to take as they walk by. A lot of traffic goes by and people are constantly stopping to look at the garden. So I thought that would be kind of a fun little thing to do this year. Hopefully I will have um, enough flowers to keep that going all year long. We'll see. And finally, in my last seed from my fruition order, and this will probably be my last fruition order until probably the fall. And that is for the summer berries yarrow. Look at that. Wowza. I grew just the standard yellow yarrow out in my yard this year that I actually got from a local nursery. It's gonna be cool to add some color to that. Yarrow is also medicinal. So that will also be adding to my medicinal flower and herb garden. These guys do still have some stock up on their website so you can go check them out. It's definitely a great company. I've never, I don't think I've ever had poor germination or poor luck with any of their seeds so far. And they're also the only company that I have gone back for second packs of the same variety from. So big fan, big fan of fruition seeds. So stick around. I'm gonna need you guys' help to narrow down what I'm gonna grow this year. So I think I'm gonna do a big live when I'm ultimately planning my garden out and maybe you guys can help me decide. So keep your eyes out for that. If you are not subscribed, make sure you hit the button to subscribe so you know when I put out new videos about seeds, garden planning, and house plants. And if you turn the bell on, YouTube might actually tell you. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.